Welcome back everyone. Hanukkah begins this week, sundown Tuesday. So with us this morning to show us how to make two Hanukkah dishes is Jennifer Abadi. She is the author of the cookbook, Fistful of Lentils. Jennifer, <laughs> thanks so much for being with thank us this you morning. Thank for having me. Good morning. Yes, we got you. your cookbook over here. One of these recipes is, oh, that's, <laughs> one of these hot. recipes <laughs> is in your book. The first one is not. They're both on your website. Let's start with this yes, one. Yes. Um, the first one, since this is Hanukkah, so we do a lot of dishes with oil. That's right. the main ingredient. So the first dish I'm doing is a couscous salad. It's sort of sweet and savory. You cook the um, couscous, it comes like this. It looks almost like tapioca balls. Mm -hmm. um, you cook it in chicken broth or water until it's soft like a pasta. And then I have parchment paper here because you, you um, spread it out. You want it to dry and cool so they don't stick together. And then when they're done drying and cooling, I just put them in, into a bowl. Okay. And you loosen them with your fingers, separate them. And then I just add a vinaigrette, which is a simple vinaigrette of um, lemon juice, oil, of course, um, right. some honey. Easily made right at home. Right, salt and pepper. And then I put in some dried um, mint because this is a key ingredient in Middle Eastern uh, cooking. And then we have some dates here, medjool dates, some figs, and some uh, apricots. And it's very pretty. It's mm. nice because it's also you very get a nice festive. color. I want to just turn That's this okay. down. <laughs> hey, this is, a, is this a family recipe? Uh, yeah, this is a recipe in my family. And it's Syrian. Um, uh, it's Syrian, Lebanese, it's sort of like Mixed a whole in, region. Right. Okay. And then I have just toasted pine nuts here. And you see, it's very pretty. Um, and you just toss it. And you serve it room temperature. And what's nice is it makes a delicious um, side dish or main dish. And so it's easy. It. It's very easy. Easy to make. It's really, if you, if you this say is pasta the is the easiest, it's pasta. It's basically pasta. Right. And that's really the only cooking you have to do. Everything else just goes in and you mix. Exactly. It's the prep. Just All right, getting fantastic. it Fantastic. And you can use this in any way you want. Any way you want. You could and eat it as a meal. You could eat it as a side dish. Exactly. Whatever. Exactly. All right. And now to the pretty. meaty portion. Now a meaty portion. <laughs> also very easy. Um, this is more traditional. This is in my book. It's a Syrian recipe. It's called Ajah. It's a meat patty. So you just take say ground beef. Ajah. Ajah. Yeah. Okay. And it's ground beef. You mix um, some beaten up eggs in there. And the eggs is why we call it an omelet. It makes it very um, wet and okay. thin and light. And you put onions. in some chopped onions, always a basic mm -hmm. in searing cooking. Parsley, which gives it color as well as making it a little bit fresher. You have uh, breadcrumbs that keeps it together. Some salt. Almost at this point looking like it would be a meatball. Cinnamon. It is. It's a Syrian meatball patty. We, we grew up with it in my house. It was more like a Syrian hamburger. Right. And the kids grew up with it. And we actually, my mother, my grandmother loved ketchup even though she came from Syria. She <laughs> so thought the it was difference the is you just American. flatten it out. Flatten the meatball and flatten make it into it a patty. Okay. And then when you mix it, um, you just mix up the, uh, the batter, batter here. And you just get a very mixed wet type of um, mixture here. Okay, you make and the then, patties up. And you make the pat, and I take a tablespoon because it makes a nice size. You don't want them really big. And you just drop them into the oil and you fry them. You see? And it comes out like this. And you put them on paper towels because it absorbs the excess oil. And then how will you serve them? You serve them here in wedges of pita bread, with or without ketchup on the side, if you like it. And, um, and that's it. And you just serve it and eat it. And people can pick it up. It's very good for finger food, too, because people can walk around if you have a party. And you put some of the salad in with it, this so you can kind of mix it together? Yeah. I, I did it like this because I thought it was a pretty little bowl, so people have a little taste of both. You can do it on a plate. You can do it separate. And look at this. It's nice, it's nice when it's all... Uh, all put together. All put together, and it's very colorful and pretty, and this is a very festive holiday, so you want it to be colorful and bright. It's all wonderful, and look at that. You did both of those in three minutes, I think it was. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer three. Abadi, thank you very <laughs> thank much. You, thank you. The book is Fistful of Lentils. Just in case you missed either one of the recipes, we've put both of them uh, and, and the link to the book actually on our website, 7online.com. Click on the Scene on 7 link in the upper right-hand side of the homepage. In the meantime, we will be right back. Stay with us.